What's it? Oh. Pull yourself together. Sorry, I, I'm just nervous. I've, I've, I've never performed for such a large crowd before. If you mess this up for us. Ah! Hi, I'm James Nyhouse. I'm one of the film instructors here at Full Sail University. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the basics of shot composition. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and it's true. The way visual elements are arranged on a screen is just as important as what's being said or shown. We call that visual storytelling, and it can show viewers a lot about what's going on. From what they should focus their attention towards, to the psychology of the characters. Let's begin by talking about the rule of thirds. This is a basic principle of good composition whereby we divide the screen into nine equal parts. We draw a line horizontally through this third and through this third, and then vertically through this third and this third. The theory behind the rule of thirds is that if you place your subject on the intersections or along the lines, your shot becomes more pleasing. It creates more interest and energy than placing your subject in the center of the frame. In shots of people, try to place their eyes in the cross lines, approximately one third from the top of the screen. All right, so let's talk about headroom. Headroom is another very important aspect of good shot composition. It's the distance between the top of your subject's head and the top of the frame. You don't want to leave too much room above your subject's head. It creates a dead space. You also don't want to cut the top of your subject's head off by not leaving enough headroom, at least not for a full shot or a medium shot. For a close shot, it's always more acceptable to crop the top of the head than it is to crop the chin. Let's talk about the different types of shots we use. To begin with, there's the wide or full shot that lets us establish the scene. We see where it's taking place and also allows multiple characters to occupy the frame. As you can see, this shot shows our characters from top to bottom. And now let's talk about the medium shot. This shot brings the audience closer into our characters while placing less focus on the environment. We can start to get a better idea of the emotional nuances of our characters, but still allows for multiple elements to occupy the screen. Now the close shot takes it a step further. It dedicates the majority of the frame to your subject. And while the body can still be used as a form of expression for the character, most of the focus is on the talent's face and eyes. The actor's screen direction can also convey a sense of the character's state of mind in the script. Maybe one character is the clear protagonist, while the other is the antagonist in the story. It may not seem obvious, but that's something that can be partially accomplished through shot composition. If the person moves from left to right, they're perceived to be the good guy. If they move from right to left, they are perceived to be the bad guy. Once this direction is established, it should be maintained in order to show progress toward the goal. The subject's location and frame can say a lot about their outlook. For example, if the actor is on the left side of the frame, looking toward the right, he is perceived to be optimistic, looking toward the future. If they are on the right side of the frame, looking to the left, the opposite is true. If an actor is positioned on the side of the frame and is facing the same side, it's called short-sighted, they are presumed to be trapped. They have nowhere to go. Whereas an actor that is positioned in the center of the frame is perceived as being in a good spot, a balanced place. So there you go, a few of the basic concepts of good shot composition. Get out there, shoot for yourself, and before long, you'll be shooting just like a pro.